A school board in Wisconsin prohibiting teachers and staff from displaying pride flags and other items that they deem political in nature in school. Good. Good. Staff also banned from including their preferred pronouns in work emails. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Sean Strickland, he made a sexist comment about your fight with Raquel. Be a strong woman. Pretend like you're my co-man event. <laughs> the woman in the kitchen in every hand. How it should be, you guys. I know you've responded. What will you say if you see him this week? I love you, Sean. Oh. He's very funny. Maybe my fight is no good fight in the paper, but I believe Sean Strickland and his duplessis are in a great fight in the paper. I'm a free speech absolutist. I think that there should be repercussions to certain free speech, but um, it's a constitutional right, and yeah. yeah, that's where I stand with it. Yeah, I don't want any apps being banned. Right. I don't want people being banned from certain apps, and I think there's an attack on our First Amendment right right now, yeah. So you think no one should be banned from no, the platform? absolutely not. So like, someone calls me like the F slur. If by F slur, you mean female, don't worry. No one's ever gonna call you that. Ah. You like, leave them. Yeah. Why? Because that's the their right to say that. Now, you know, you can, <laughs> there should be measures yeah. taken where, like I say, there are repercussions to certain speech. I don't think the platform should be able to remove them, but I think you should have the right to block them like we already can now right. because I've with... lost three Instagram profiles just for saying, oh, I don't think a man, a children should have sex changes under the age of 18. Accounts gone. Like I've lost thousands of followers. Uh, so if someone insults you, they shouldn't be allowed to have a platform. A platform. Do, do you hear yourself? Do you know that is insane? That wouldn't work. If we applied that to the world, it wouldn't work. You insult me by the way you're dressed, so you should be deplatformed. Lisa, you're rude. Actually, you know, don't ever call me transphobic. Ever. You're, you do you not know me. You're, you're being ever. transphobic, Karen. Do I'll get not. Out. Call me transphobic. You are transphobic. Now get out. You're not having one. Do it to the police. Hi, get out. You are trespassing now. They've got cameras. You are trespassing. Get out. Get out. You are trespassing. Apparently, you said something transphobic. You actually, actually, you bastard. God, it smells like bitch in here. She died because an ambulance couldn't get through because your protesters just stop oil were blocking the road and the ambulance couldn't get through in time. She couldn't get the help she needed and she died. Earlier you said that you are a peaceful protesters. My friend is dead. How do you answer that? We have a, um, we have a blue light policy, um, which means whenever we have roadblocks, as soon as we um, hear sirens, we see the blue lights, people move out of the way. Even when people are gluing in the road, there's always one lane that is kept um, clear so that people can move out of the way. So that's a lie. Here's an ambulance that can't get through because of the gridlock caused by the protest. And we have never had any complaints from either ambulances, fire brigade or any other emergency services. The, to video, the video footage exists and the lady can't complain now because she's dead. Let me ask you another question, Phoebe. Uh, let me ask you, what bills do you currently pay? Who pays for your accommodation at university? My student loan. When, have you ever paid any bills in your lifetime? No. So you don't know what it's like to be a homeowner and not to be able to afford your energy bills and then see some stupid young people throwing soup over a painting in a gallery that has nothing to do with the fact they can't afford to pay their bills. You don't know what it's like to pay a bill, Phoebe, do you? No, but I have empathy for those people. She didn't even show any remorse when she found out that the lady had died. She didn't even care. So if you're part of a protest which causes someone to die, they should be done for manslaughter. It's just ridiculous. This is what you're dealing with. She's never had a job, never paid a bill, no life experience, but yet she is somehow an expert on everything. You know, the worst part about this is the fact that they're doing it and affecting normal day-to-day -day people, just trying to work a job, feed their families, blocking ambulances from saving lives, things like that. But they're not protesting the super rich, are they? Flying around in their private jets. I mean, check this out. This is 
days following the Super Bowl, 882 private jets departed from Las Vegas. And these are carrying basically a lot of the elites, Hollywood celebrities, you know the same people that constantly lecture you about your carbon footprint who con and constantly tell you that you shouldn't fly anymore or that you shouldn't drive a car or that you shouldn't use a fucking plastic straw. But here they are flying around on their private jets and just stop oil. They're nowhere to be seen when it comes to protesting this, are they? Do you think you can change your gender? Physically, yeah. No. I guess, of course, you can change your gender. That doesn't mean that people are always going to respect you. What you're born as is what you're born as. If you can change your gender, can you change your race? No. Why? Because that's just how you're born. Isn't your gender how you're also just born? Yeah, I see, I see where you're getting with, but right now we do have surgeries available to change gender. We don't have that for race yet. So maybe in the future that could be something. No, you can't change your race. I feel like one is actually a stagnant part of identity and the other one like is serious, but it's in a different form. It's not the same concept. Race is your roots, where you were born with from, you know, ages ago. So I isn't, think- Isn't your gender where what you're born with too? That's true, but I think it's a different, like- If you can change your gender, can you change your race? You cannot change your race. That's a whole different topic. Why not? Because I think there's a bit more history behind, you know, if you're black or if you're in general a person of color, there's more history behind skin color than there's behind gender, I think. Your race isn't your option, but your, your gender is. If you can change your gender, can you change your race? I don't think so, no. Why? Because, like, that doesn't make sense. Because, like, why would you want to do that? Because you're just, like... When you be like making yourself like more oppressed, isn't that like kind of weird? Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. Think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. You're calling for a $50 an hour federal minimum wage. That's seven times the current national minimum wage of seven twenty-five an hour. Can you explain how that would be economically sustainable for small businesses? First, let me say I um, owned and ran a small business for um, 11 years. I created hundreds of jobs, benefits, retirement benefits, also health care benefits. I know what worker productivity means, and that means that you have to make sure that your employees are taken care of and have a living wage. Another survey very recently, 104,000 for a family of one, barely enough to get by low income because of the affordability crisis. And so just do the math, just do the math. Of course we have national uh, minimum wages that we need to raise to a living wage. You're talking about 20 $25, fine. But I have got to be focused on what California needs. Why make it $50 an hour? Why not just make the minimum wage a million dollars an hour? Then no one would ever be poor, right? Yeah, everyone would be rich. We'd all live in mansions. We could all retire in two years. Oh, it'd be like all sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, that's not the real world though, is it? Yeah, she didn't even explain how it would be economically viable because she doesn't know and then i love how she said just do the math but you haven't done the maths yourself but yeah it's pretty obvious <laughs> she hasn't taken economics in school i seriously doubt she was paying her employees 50 dollars an hour if she was then that probably explains why she's no longer a business owner because she probably went bust don't know what i what i would do i feel like i don't want to just like defy what the what the rule would be and introduce myself with my pronouns but i don't want to be referred to with she, her pronouns. Stuck on whether to give up a dream in the state where they were raised in order to be true to themselves. She's actually very highly educated, believe it or not. She's a doctor in chemistry. Surely if that's your dream to teach, then your goal should be, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna teach these kids as much as I can to the best of my ability to give them the best head start in life possible. But because they may not be able to use her preferred pronouns. She's now saying, oh, hold on, I'm gonna have to reconsider this career. Well, if that's your thoughts behind it, then you shouldn't be teaching because it's obviously more about you than actually teaching the kids. All right, y'all have been waiting for this one. Ways that white male privilege exists because I've experienced it, part two. When I'm in a really crappy mood, I can be sure that nobody's ever gonna blame it on my period when they definitely did before. When I'm driving around and I'm speeding and I'm being really reckless, I'm cool and hip when before I was just like a bad girl driver. All right, guys, that's it for the video. That's enough of that shit today. So if you like the video, make sure you like, share and subscribe. 
thanks for watching i appreciate all the support and i will see you on the next one peace 75 years that's how much time you get if you're lucky 75 years 75 winters 75 spring times 75 summers and 75 autumns when you look at it like that it's not a lot of time is it? don't waste them get your head out of the rat race and forget about the superficial things that preoccupy your existence and get back to what's important now right now this very second and i'm not saying drop everything and let the world come to a grinding halt i'm saying that you can become a seeker you can be loving more you can be taking some chances you can be living more you can be spending more time with your family you can be getting in touch with the part of you that lives instead of fears the part of you that loves instead of hates